Hello, friends. Today I'm making plantain crackers. Here I have my plantain. I'll go ahead, wash them thoroughly. After washing, I'll be cutting them into bits. Add them to my pot, then take them to the heat for me to cook them. After cooking it, here we have our plantain. I'll go ahead, peel, transfer them into a bowl. Please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for more great videos like this. After peeling the cooked plantain, I'll go ahead and mash them together with my fake. I'll mash them until there's no lumps in it. I will be grateful if you will like this video, comment and share it with your loved ones. After matching the cooked plantain and it is well combined, you can see how it looks like. There's no lump in this matched plantain. Now that we are through with this process of matching it, we'll go ahead and begin to add other ingredients to it. First, I'll start by adding some butter to it. I'll be mixing it with the mashed plantain until it is well combined. After combining the butter to the mashed plantain, I will add to it half teaspoon of cinnamon powder, some chili pepper, salt, and some fresh sliced pepper, both ripe and unripe. I will then combine all of them together. Make sure to mix very well so that everything can be well integrated. Once it's well combined, I'll be spreading them out on a parchment paper in a baking tray. So I'll be transferring part of the planted dough into the parchment paper and spread them out on the parchment paper neatly. Once it's nicely spread out, I'll go ahead and begin to cut them into my desired shape with my kitchen grater. I'll be using the end part of my grater to give it a beautiful design. So I'll go ahead and cut it into square shape like this. After that, I will perforate it with fake like this. I'll do it gently so that it doesn't get broken. After perforating it with the fake, the next thing I'll be doing is for me to transfer it to the oval for it to be baked. You can see after baking how it looks like it came out very beautiful. So I'll be repeating the same process for the remaining dough. Transfer the planted dough into my baking pan and repeat the same process for this too. Take to the heat and bake. And here we have our planted crackers. Thanks for watching.